From nine weeks until birth, the baby is called a fetus. Fetus is a Latin word which means offspring. At nine weeks, the baby's chest wall begins to expand and produce early respiratory movement. With practice, the child will be able to inhale and exhale amniotic fluid by month four. The eyes close at nine weeks and remain closed until 26 weeks. As the eye muscles develop very early in pregnancy, it is possible to see the baby's eyes move during sleep or when she changes position. The lips are now completely formed. In the tenth week of life, the baby can produce both slow and rapid movements of the arms and legs. Movements of the arms and legs can be rhythmic or resemble a twitch. Fingernails begin to develop during the tenth week. At eleven weeks, the baby's skin is comprised of both epidermal and dermal layers. The upper limbs will virtually attain their ultimate relative lengths by twelve weeks, but the lower limbs are not quite as proportionately developed. One of the most popular medical school teaching textbooks, Williams Obstetrics, states that the status of the fetus has been elevated to that of a patient who in large measure can be given the same meticulous care that obstetricians have long given the pregnant woman. When a woman is pregnant, she and her baby therefore represent two patients. Medicine has advanced to the point that a number of abnormal conditions can be surgically corrected while the child is still in his mother's womb. As techniques for visualizing the embryo and early fetus continue to birth, infancy, adolescence, adulthood, and finally into old age, each time is different in its own way and each holds many interesting and important surprises.